go, greetings. I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. All right, let's see how this goes. I Okay, so if they just have a bunch of pre-organized, pre-made press kits that Clyde can just release to the universe, like there is an experience of they were planning on this for a while, or at least potentially doing this, which means that Sue was ready already to flip on her dad in the event that this would happen. Right. Because press kits are a very specific thing, and you don't just type those up and make those in your pocket while all this is going down. Yeah, they require some time and they require mm -hmm. some effort. So, so it sounds cool, but that's a lot of work. It sounds like they've been planning to do this for a while, just in case, or that maybe eventually they were just going to completely rebel on their own. And I, I would be interested in knowing more about that piece of the story, honestly. Mm, right. And also going, like, they're not doing a stalemate with Deca, which is what I assumed this was going for, of the I won't tell if you won't tell, but they really are like, we are going to burn him to the ground, and that is an interesting choice. Yes. It's also more than I think Lai is intended to do at all. Right. I, I figured the two guys from Arcade Flippers might be interested. I really like that show. Also, it would be nice if they told us when someone was non non-binary. You know, if uh -huh. someone was, you know, non-bionicle, um, right. some, so if they were Cool Ranch flavored, because they can also be referred to people of all genders. <sighs> I mean, so as somebody who identifies as non-binary, I have, like, I appreciate the inclusion, you guys. Yes, I do. it's good. But I also don't get it where people refuse to talk about people's pronouns. They're going, well, you can't just introduce that in a game. And I'm like, why not? If it's in a world where, okay, even before um, non-binary and being trans was very visible, because I won't say before it existed. I'll say before it was very visible. Um, there I mean, was depending on your culture, but that's okay. Exactly. I was going to say, um, especially for, you know, internet American culture, that kind of thing. There there was plenty of times where someone would ask, hey, are you a boy or a girl if someone looked androgynous? Right. And so it's like, you just ask people's pronouns sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is you don't always realize you're asking for pronouns, but when you say, hey, are you a boy or a girl? That's what you're asking. Right. Even though, honestly, a lot of people in my experience tend to, or at least what I remember of, of going like, what's your ASF? Age, sex, and, uh, oh, ASL, excuse me, um, age, sex, and location. Oh, Where okay. are you from? Right. Right, so that, that was the big thing that I remember when I was growing up. Um, but basically, like, most people, as far as I knew, usually were going after a biological essentialist sort of angle. Oh, yeah. More than just, are you a boy or, you know, or That a was the idea. Yeah. yeah. So, they were asking about your genitals. They were asking about your genitals because we're all really classy here. Oh, super classy. Like, anyway, uh... With that settled, us, I get. Sue turns a smug, satisfied smile toward her doomed father, I Welcome assume. Welcome to the Ides of March, Dad. I was not familiar with most of this, and I have no idea what he's been up to, but, uh... I'm gonna now. raise my hand. Do it. Raise your yeah. hand. Tell me about the Ides. Okay. So, I appreciate the fact that Sue makes some stellar references, like the Ides of March. Um, but as a child who sounds like she's had very little to no education in regards to a structured environment, which I'm not saying that you learn everything from a structured environment, because that's a fucking lie. Mm. Um, there's a lot of people where they go, when you go into a, particularly in the U.S. for public schools, they usually are there trying to basically make a worker out of you, not necessarily turn you into a critical thinker, right? Right, right. Um, I kind of get a little bit confused about some of her references now because they just said, well, you know, she doesn't go to school, basically. And, you're and I'm kind of going, she read much? what does she read? Why would she ever be caught, you know, reading the Ides of March? Like, it gives her an interesting level of being like, do you just know random things everywhere? Like, I mean, and that happens. Don't get me wrong. People could totally know random stuff, but sometimes people get... Like, I feel like they're going, again, that thing my friend has pointed out, where sometimes you're going, the writer just wants to make them sound clever more than the character themselves would actually say that. Yeah, and I would say, I, we don't know enough about her to know if that would be her thing or not, but the level of, you are a school dropout, essentially flunky, that I sponsor, that plays video games all day, yeah. doesn't mean you're stupid, but it does usually mean you don't know um, esoteric literature references. Right. And, and that's a really important distinction, because I've had some people go, oh, I don't read, I'm not very bright. And I'm like, dude, you're super smart. You just know different things uh -huh. than what is considered oh. intellectually important in most uh, brainy circles. That's yes. it. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to get me in trouble, too? You feel free. At worst, I'll do a year or two in juvie. And you're fine with that. That's actually pretty cool. Considering also, that that would go on your permanent record and you might be fucked. That means you might be like 14 or 15 because you graduate out of juvie if you hit 18 while you're in there. So if she's not afraid of a year or two of juvie, then she's quite young. Yeah. 
-hmm. which now leads me in a really interesting. How? Okay, I'm fine. You, okay, it's fine. You're gonna bleed out on the floor by the time I'm through. Oh, whoa, you hate him. This is intense. Inky, Blinky, uh, please don't murder him. <laughs> yeah, boss. Mm -hmm. Show my father the door, gently. Don't leave any marks, at least. Why do these guys follow her? I don't mean to be rude. Like, I'm all for basically, like, non-conventional, basically, gang leaders or whatever mm -hmm. else in relation. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's cool. And also, like, fantasy setting and whatnot. Right. It's neat. But sometimes they're just like, you are so hyper-competent, it's bizarre. But also, I've had the same problem even sometimes with the guys themselves. And also, then there's Clyde and going, like, y'all are, like... Yeah. I want to call you prodigies, but I feel like that word's misused a lot mm. because prodigy uh, is you usually see, misused. Real competent, real capable, and like you'd have a lot of options. Yeah. Say, but the thing is, is I'm not having really a problem with Sue in reference to this because even the various brief moments we've seen her, the the language used in the writing has really displayed that she does have leadership skills mm. and that her primary skills are in leadership. So at one point, um, I had a fr one friend of mine who was is is very very academically oriented. Like every time he goes to pursue something, he goes and gets either a degree or a certification for it, right? Right. So, um, and I've never really been that way. Like I don't have a college degree, um, and I didn't, uh, I didn't like do traditional high school, anything like that, right? Right. Um, I've always, you know, done well in school when I've been in school, but like I don't have certificates for almost anything except for what I've been trained on the job to do. And at one point, I was talking to him about being overqualified for a position that I'd applied for, and they'd called me back and said, maybe you want to apply for something a little higher because of the experience I have in that specific area of the workforce, you know. Oh yeah, you got to be a manager in McDonald's at two years, but you then have manager experience, which right. my friends actually worked at McDonald's, Aye. so uh, that's a fun reference. I was to say, but the thing is, is like, having management experience and being a really good leader is an interesting thing because on a resume, if you know how to lead, in theory, you can lead anywhere. You can come into a field that you know very little about and they can train you on what your people know and how to support them and then you can lead them. Leadership, uh, leading and inspiring people and being supportive to them and encouraging their environment is a skill set. And it's like, it is a valuable skill set for any random place you want to go to. And it doesn't really matter what you're leading for. And so it's funny because if you didn't go to college for management, business management, bu you know, business studies, which is usually where the people go into leadership kind of thing, right? then you can still have those exact same skills and your resume looks relatively blank in your like actual certification area. But when they look at what you did and how big of teams you've run and things like that, it's like, ah, you're a leader. Yeah. And in the way they've described Sue, like, she seems like she has a lot of, like, natural leadership skills. Whatever she didn't get from her dad or whatever, you know, way he's let her down as far as her feeling like she can't have normal friends and she doesn't connect with school and she just has, you know, been delinquent and acted out against him. Mm -hmm. She seems like she has picked up leadership and direction really hard and that she is the core of her friend group, even as they're close to each other. Right. So I'm not really going to doubt her in that area of going, why do these guys follow her? Probably because she's a badass. And what I mean is a badass, like she makes sense, she speaks clearly, she organizes well, she has good ideas. And I also could basically be falling under definitely a trope of misogyny, of mm. going like, it seems really weird to have a, like a 14, 15 year old, 16 year old kid, girl, girl in this case, uh, running a big team full of a bunch of buff guys and one non-binary. And one nummy num. A non-binary non dragon. A numbical. <laughs> a numbical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been a lot of people trying to jokingly explain non-binary mm. on TikTok, and they've used some wonderful words, and we support them. Yep, they're excellent. No. Mm. No. 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 This is completely unacceptable. I am your father. I'm your I'm father. I'm Deko Nami. I am the arcade business. Only if it's only in one city, as far as we can tell, because, damn, you are not as big as you think you are. I know. Like, right? this feels like an extremely small world when White you talk about White male privilege! Like, if you don't have arcades in Japan, where our lovely good friend Queen Bee got scouted to, like, and from, you know, for her new uh, esports, then you are not as big as you think, okay? Right. Like, wow. Inky and Blinky easily restrained Deco by the arms. He, uh, after all, doesn't lift. Oh, <laughs> but I just can't let him go without having my two cents. Uh, Shaman had to come to this. Something personal. Hi, arcade. Hi, arcade business. I'm, I'm dead. dead. Oh, my God. That is so not our character at, at all. all. 
Game over, Deco, you lose. That's a little um, direct for us. Yeah. I feel like it's it's a shame it had to come to this, but uh, goodbye. I didn't ask for this war, Mr. Nine. All I did, except for you didn't do it. You had His not... daughter ended whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Sue was... ended this? All um, I did was talk to Sue who ended it. Yeah, I was about to say, this is ridiculous. You you did not end it. Yeah, no, like, Sue I feel like that is... Sue made the decision, like, you've now taken away her power. I hope she betrays you. I... <laughs> <laughs> like, instantly, I hope she betrays you. Fuck you, Lies. I, like, that Lies, was you're literally like, I just ended it. Like, this is... How is that not an aggressive statement? Mm. Like, I'm sorry it had to come to this goodbye is very different than all I did was end it. This sounds like it should have a fucking red star by it. It also is. We are completely shafting Sue of her part and saying, no, no, we this are... was all me. Where's our sudden fucking confidence coming from? Everyone everywhere. Lies, you do so well. No, no, I'm nothing special. Me. I ended this war. <laughs> right? You did this to yourself. I don't agree with that. Head can't. I reject your reality. All I did was retaliate. <laughs> uh -huh. Think about that when you're behind bars. I'll hope for you to eventually come around to understand your own errors. My only error was not destroying Francine and her damnable funplex sooner. If an arcade that tiny can cause you a problem, you as are a tiny you're saying, fish. You are a small business. You might pull a lot of money, but you are not a big business owner. And this is really weird how important and big you think you are. Right? Like, are you still here? Mm -hmm. Not for long. I haven't lost. I can still fight this. I can still. It just depends on how good their press kits are, sir. Yeah. If they have reliable evidence, if it looks professional and well put together, if it looks like they've got reasonable sources and proof, that kind of thing. Because it's really going to depend on how well they've pitched themselves as to whether or not you're genuinely in trouble. Yeah. Like, if it looks like a weird prank email and it doesn't look well backed and doesn't have good sources and it's like someone just bitching off, then it may not do anything unless someone's real curious about like, so and so, where is the intern? Have them investigate whatever the fuck this says, you right. know? And then the intern is dedicated. And the ghost monsters remove Deco from our sights. Instantly, the entire atmosphere of the place changes. So, if as if a great weight is lifted. He brought his skills with him, and his intensity, and his angst, and he poured his iron, his cruelty, <laughs> everything into, into the into the cane. Uh, <laughs> and, and then he was removed, and it felt better. Yeah, I couldn't be more relieved, and I relax into a sigh. Huh. <sighs> Not gonna lie, the next few days will be interesting to say the least. Uh, I think you better stay at my place. My my parents won't mind at all. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna need to hide out until the heat's off. Maybe practice batting my eyelashes at a weak-willed jury box full of concerned parents, too. Uh huh. Sue uh, blinks in astonishment. Wait, in astonishment? Oh, she practices. She says, "Oh, the... <gasps> whoa, what? Oh, right, lies. You're still here. Mm. You, oh, I knew you were special. Knew it from day one. Uh. If the heat ever cools off and we can make amends with the lovely chainsaw." I might pop by your arcade, play some games, and not stir up any trouble. I'll keep my promise. Uh -huh. The public will know Deco hired a gang to go after you. That should exonerate your arcade as a victim of his shady dealings. This is, this is hmm. too clean for Maybe, me, but it's okay. I guess. We square? I mean, super square, but I really want to rescue a fuck ton of those games. Me? Like, 12. what I am interested in Naomi. doing right now? I mean, it calls her. Is Get over going, here. hi, so we need Naomi and Gavin to come ship out as many of these games as possible to our new location so he can't come in here and wreck this. Mm -hmm. Unless the law works as fast as, you know, it did for Francine, and then he's going to be in jail before he could even come back and take these, but these need rescued and they need love. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to run your own arcade here. But they still need repair and stuff. Oh, I want the games to be okay, all right? That's what I care about Let's right fix now. them! Uh, I thank you for everything you've done. Yep, we are also a triangle and circle. You wronged me, but I can let it go. Whoa, that's the diplomatic one? Whoa. You're a terrible person, but whatever? Whoa. How is that even an answer after the exchange we've just had? Holy shit! Uh-huh, so... I, uh, whoa. Uh, I don't... Uh, all the time. I feel like Lies would say I am wrong. Lies can only say these things. Okay, what would Lies say? What, what, what would you, yourself, and I, uh, and your character say? <laughs> what, would the, what would my character say? I, like, I really want to be to a level of, you know, you just, like, 
you have been having a rough time and you've done a lot of things that are really questionable and it's really important to move forward from there. Mm -hmm. You and I are square, but you know, work on being on the straight and narrow. You seem like you want better for yourself and not what Deco wants for you and I want you to succeed, you know? Right. Like more like that. So thank you for everything you've done. Huh, thank you. I know this wasn't easy for you. Giving up so much. Actually, it's all in my name. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. And I appreciate what you've done for my arcade. I owed you, honestly. I may still owe you for that matter. Uh, I, I yes. mean, you did break. You do items. owe us actual money. But if you gave us some of those games down there, it could literally pay us back. Like, so well. Like, wow. Whoa. I. We did it! We saved the arcade and defeated your family curse once and for all! You don't even believe in that curse, and also, you don't know that it's defeated. I was about to say, what? What are you talking about? Assuming it was ever a thing to begin with, I guess. Now, well, I don't believe in it. if it was, you were certainly up to the job of breaking it. Mm. Now, you've been on your feet long enough. Let's get back home, watch some TV, eat some popcorn, and celebrate! Uh, Are we gonna go get drunk? I <laughs> don't know, gonna but do? I want to find out about those games. Me too. No, we need to be calling Naomi the and games. Gavin, like right at this moment, and going, "Hi, there's a warehouse. Here's the address. You need to come get games out of here." Uh -huh. And be like, "Hey, hey, Sue, Sue, we don't want your games to go to waste. Which ones are your favorites? Uh -huh. You know, I want you to put an obvious tag on them so we can help them. And then Naomi will choose her favorites as well and be like, "Oh my God, this is a copy." Of of whatever. Right. The next few days passed in a blur. Uh, that morning, we had press crowding around the doors of the arcade before we'd even opened. Sue's care package of bad news that went up the wire caught their attention. Ah, uh, Mix Scandal! Mix Scandal! Mix Scandal! Is it true that Dekonami organized a gang hit on your arcade? How did you respond to the allegations that Dekonami is involved in an international counterfeit plush doll prize ring? Ah, you, what is your relationship with the ghost monsters? Have you heard any of the allegations of child abuse, uh, neglect, misuse? It's an underage gang that he's been putting out to do stuff. Have you seen Mrs. DeFame's article talking about the incident? Praising your professionalism! Did she get to come back yet? Because it hasn't been a week yet. If it's the next few days, three days, few uh, more days, yeah, could have been a week. Okay, but did she get to come visit the arcade again? I need to know. That's I what it said. so many interviews that day that I lost my voice. Uh, fortunately, that's actually impressive because most people don't sit through that many reporters and just do that. They really but don't. But good job for you going, I don't know what to do, so everyone stand in line. I'll, I'll answer all of you. Everyone, what? Whoa. 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 You're, you're not just going to release like a generalized statement? You're not going to just sort of stand here with nine mics in your face and listen? No, no. Each one of you, separately. I will, I will personal interview all of you. Whoa. All right. Do you want money for that, or is it? Oh, this no, is they, free. This they're is like, free. this is free. They all just sit down in chairs. Hello. This Hello. Is fine. Hello. Hello. Boss, I'm spending my day here. I'm getting a one-on-one -on -one interview with um, Mick Scandal. <laughs> yep. Uh, with La Scandal. Fortunately, I was able to stay hydrated thanks to our well-stocked vending machine. You don't even have your own drinks that you can get for the restaurant. You have to still pay from your own vending machine. Mm -hmm. Lies, you're so weird. Everybody loved to see a fallen family entertainment icon. It made them feel self-righteous. And Dekonami was now square in the crosshairs. It didn't matter that the official police response was a generic, we are still investigating these claims. The court of public opinion had decided. Deco's place, palace, palace was doomed. The final crushing blow came at a televised press conference three days later. These obvious falsehoods generated by jealous business rivals and lying children merely go to show how the powerful are routinely targeted for harassment. Oh my god, that's such like a... Furthermore, I... What? Whoa, no, there's your uh, sister. Unhand me immediately, yeah. you... Uh, I'm innocent in these matters. Innocent! Look at that. See, it's Michelle's sister. It's yeah, it is, it's pretty good. And we never saw him again. He must have been involved in something way deeper than what we knew about. I mean, the thing about the plush ring. Uh huh. No, I know. I was like, like oh, whoa. okay, that that's cute. But I wonder if it was also like running drugs. Ah, uh, yeah. Like yeah, plushies, kind of I've heard of being used to run drugs. To be containers for yeah. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seriously, after the arrest, he just up and vanished from the public eye. It's honestly a bit creepy. Well, that feels a little bit like a cop-out if we don't have to deal with any of the legal allegations or whether or not they yeah. did a good press kit or fill in the blank whether or not anyone was really in trouble. It's kind of fun, and especially since it's a callback to a character with, you know, basically deep secret, um, like, a government power. It's kind of funny, and I'm fine with it. Yeah. Uh, I was at least expecting a trial or 
or something. He told me that if I didn't commit all those crimes, he'd take away my food. Yeah, you don't usually do that at a press conference, but that's adorable. Good I job. never wanted to be a hacker. I just like computers. I wanted to get a computer degree and get a normal job like anyone else. Your hair should be done in a cuter style. It really should be. Said. You should be wearing different clothes, looking all innocent. Largely a line of hokum, except for you don't actually know that. You have no idea what you her really? hopes and dreams and interests are. But it was good to see Sue breaking away from Deco's influence. All the time. All the same. All the same, sorry. Who knows? Maybe Sue's ready to turn over a new leaf and go straight after all. I, I mean, corrupted innocent. <laughs> the Deco's Palace Board of Directors unanimously voted to eject him, given he'd just vanished into the guts of the judicial system. Like, whoa, like, goodbye. Whoa. Creepy. Oh, the arcade empire he established is still out there. It's still powerful, still hacky as heck, and still a menace to small arcades like ours. But without his guide and vision, it's largely tread and water. Who knows? Maybe one day the traditional arcade will overtake what he left behind. As for Funtervention... Oh. Good food, good times. It's a winning combination. Do we get to have friends? Please. And one that's worked out great for us. Hamza's side of the business practically prints money. He knew exactly what, what he, he was, was doing. doing. Yeah. He's like, yes! The games don't pull in as much, but that's fine. Thanks to all the chicken wings we're selling, the place is packed to the brim with retro classics. That's and people are having a good time. There's something comfortable and classic about Funtervention. When you're here, you can relax. Grab a bite to eat and have some fun. Who doesn't like that? I think Funtervention is a Having assisted name. in the slaying of Deco Nami's foul presence, <laughs> Hamza finds himself tired of the restaurant business. It seems his wanderlust has returned. You're like, I am you successful. Were, you were, Bye. yeah, you said you were going to be traveling anyways, that you'd just be, you know, an airplane ride away, so this is fine. Yep. Farewell, is... my friends. I leave my dining establishment in your capable hands. I must resume seeking mysterious and unknowable arcade treasures far and wide. I like how this is a, like a consistent follow up to his story. Yeah. He said he was going to do this, and then this, you know, they're set up and pay off. Like, it's not just suddenly there. This is exactly what we expected him to do, but he's also announcing it instead of just disappearing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'll have a doggy bag of those delicious jalapeno poppers to go for when I depart, of course. Mmm. He knew what he was doing. That's <laughs> kind of Jalapeno poppers, I have to admit, I never really thought much about them before, and I really couldn't stand them, and now I've kind of gotten more and more fond of them. Mm. They're pretty good. It depends on, basically, the company that makes them. It's true. And whether they make them with, like, cream cheese or with, like, Nufachel. So, um, in, in the uh, cheese section in the store, there's Nufachel cheese, which is a, a less sweet and slightly, like, softer version of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just, it's just another spreadable, you know, cheese. Mm -hmm. And, like, jalapeno poppers have a reasonable amount of sugar if they're done with cream cheese, so far as, I, like, like flavor profile-wise. Right. And they're actually a little bit more mild if they're done with Nufachel, mm -hmm. and I kind of like them. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, but also there's a difference depending on, basically, how hot your pop I know. That's actually the one thing where I'm like, they're really good, but I've not. When they're I can't, moderate. Yeah, I, I can't say, really tolerate the really spicy ones because I am still a wimp. And the thing is, is mm. like, it totally depends on how the jalapenos were grown, so it can be very hard to like basically mediate that. But when they're medium instead of really spicy, they can be really good. Mm -hmm. Also, when they aren't made out of 900 pounds of breading, right? Then there's a good amount of filling. Sometimes it's like there's almost no cream cheese and it's mostly just all breading and a strip of pepper, and then it's like, bleh. but when they're well made, they can be super tasty. Right. I'm glad they're growing on you. I love uh -huh. them. But the arcade in the end, is less important than the people who call it home. Oh? oh? Do they all stay here? Oh my god. Oh, goodness. The power of friendship. I, that looks a little off-brand for us, but that's fine. Yeah, well, here my we are. My BFF for life, my roommate, my companion. We share our lives, we shared our lives together so far and had no interest in changing that. Life turned out pretty dang sweet for Juniper and I. I <sighs> guess. Oh, 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 wow. How long have we been sitting here watching this show? Probably for like 12 hours. Because hours, you're binging. Decades. Uh, uh, I think, uh, eight hours? We uh. really need to get back to work. After all, we are busy adults with many important responsibilities. You look like they, this is way more stylized drawing than we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. like Which is fine. You can it have... is. It's just a surprising yeah. for me because we've been so consistent in like keeping on model with everything. Right. So this it's an unexpected CG. Yes. So, what do you think? Watch another episode? Oh my god, ah! this is me and my friends. Sometimes we're like, we have to do a thing. Immediately turns on the next episode. I go, hmm. I mean, you know that Netflix thing where they just have the autoplay? It gets ya. It does! Because you're sitting there and you go in and it skips the credits and then goes skips the intro and then goes right into the next episode and you go, oh, I guess it's already started. I can just watch. Watch it? I, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Growing up is for suckers. 
I... Hey there! Iris explained to me that devices, being adaptive software, eventually became more and more like their users. It seems my empathy had rubbed off on Iris. With my influence, she's grown quite a bit. I hope that one day, humans will see us as friends and allies. All I've ever wanted was to embrace kindness and understanding. And thanks to you, I've learned so I can much. only imagine how playful or how ridiculous she gets when you start going towards different ones. I was gonna say, I imagine she would say, I've only ever wanted what your strongest traits are. Yeah. And the thing is, is which is kind of interesting, because then it's that she believes that what she wants is what you are. Yeah. But also, like, what the heck is with Gavin's family I need to know? I know! Do we only way we get to find out is if we date Gavin? Again, I'm like, these don't feel like characters that we ever got to be friends with. You just sort of had them there as background noise once you didn't pick somebody to date. And even then, it sounds like you'd only kind of get to know the character you were ahem, dating and everybody else would sort of just fall off. It sounded weird. Again, in the second half of the game, I guess I call it second half, the, the bit after the do or die date night, it seemed like we stopped talking to a lot of people and that we really only came to them for resources, never yeah. to hang out or just get to know them anymore. And the thing is, is like, you never really stop getting to know your friends because they continue growing as you know them. Oh, yeah. You know, and I just, it's a little wild. All right. Is that it? Um, and would you believe it? Gavin and Naomi ended up dating. Uh, both of them were a bit distant from the others at first, but I guess everything we did together helped them come out of their shells a bit and realize neither one was an enemy. Oh, they argue from time to time, usually about games and profit margins, uh, even though he doesn't have to worry about it as much now because it's not his business. Right. But there's a mutual dream they share of a wonderful arcade where they can both be happy. And I'm proud to have, to have played... Mm -hmm. You currently play a large role in that arcade because you own it. And I'm proud to have played even a small part in helping them find that dream. Naomi formed an online community of arcade repair enthusiasts, one which she let her make a safe place to pet, to get to know others, and to be to part pet. of a crowd on her own terms. <laughs> I say, also, I really want to know what happened to those arcade games in that warehouse. I know! If she has a group, basically a large militia of game repair enthusiasts, they could have walked in there and saved every one of those fuckers. It would have been amazing. And Gavin took advantage of the fall of Deco's palace. Hey, you didn't say his palace felt. You said it was average treading water. Uh, to make Funter Vengeance the hottest new arcade destination on the block. And then you also said that arcade games really didn't pull in a lot, but I guess compared to the the restaurant, it wasn't going to necessarily do as much. That could still be huge. So, on the other I hand, if they're pulling in a huge amount, but it's just a small, like it's small in comparison to the restaurant, why would you play that down and just say both are very successful? Right. Like uh, nah, using nah, his whatever. excellent business skills. Also, business skills isn't the same as advertising. No kidding. I just, I don't know. It's like... I know we're something of an odd couple, but that's okay. We're both odd people. Uh, we've never really done anything the normal way to begin with. I mean, you're not specifically an odd couple. A lot of people get together like you guys. I mean, are you saying odd couple what? Because you're both different kinds of nerds? Or because he's serious and you're an introvert? Sorry. Serious and introvert go together really well. No kidding. Huh. Oddities we may be, but there's something... Nothing. But there's nothing odd about my love for you. I'm so honored to be by your side, Naomi. So, like, they ended up together, like, getting married. I guess, is what it sounded uh, like. Percy only had two years left to live. But with the success of Funtervention and with the encouragement of his friends, he decided that wouldn't be enough. My mind's made up. I'm gonna seek more treatment. I don't want this to end. I don't want to say goodbye to y'all. He'd live many years to come, thanks to renewed push uh, to take care of his condition. Happy years spent with all of us. Aww. Okay, that's really cool. I don't know what he did, but I'm really glad. That's cool. As for Moopy, well, with all the time in the world, he took his time, paced himself, and eventually beat the score. Aww. And also with better health and basically a handle on his condition and whatever he did and was able to do for treatment, mm -hmm. he could then also put more into it mm -hmm. without wrecking himself. Although, I'm not, honestly not sure what to do with the rest of my life. <laughs> Suppose we'll just have to see when, when, uh, when we see, eh? I, I was only planning to live two years, so things went differently. Ashley continued to be our mascot, uh, main floor, slash main floor attendant, uh, by, by day, by day at Funtervention, and by night, oh, right. customers grew accustomed seeing their smiling face on, wait, customers grew accustomed seeing their smiling face on walking through the doors. Is Ashley non-binary? Did I miss something? Do you want me to spoil something for you? Uh, no. 
Uh, I mean, I can, and it's not necessarily... Okay, so since we didn't do it, I actually went and I looked it up. So Ashley actually, um, in their route, if you date them, uh -huh. actually starts coming out as basically being more questioning of their own gender identity and is looking also into going into therapy to kind of deal with some more of their own issues. Really? Yeah. To discover themselves. But uh -huh. now, so we don't get to learn that we just suddenly get a pronoun change? Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, I mean, that's great. Discover and explore yourself, and I'm really happy with that. But I'm also just like, that doesn't bring me, the reader, in very well at all. I just get a them and going, I now have to assume that you're not referring to them as a person. You're referring to them as a gender pronoun. And that something big happened that we missed and as their friend didn't get to be involved with? Mm -hmm. Or again, it could just be we were just using a sort of generic they because sometimes people do that, even for individuals who use. But she, we'd her, always he, said she for you know, know, and that so the sentence was was felt like it was strongly meant to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, as we grew and got bigger, more people took notice of Ashley's fun intervention costume, and more people wanted to see our mascot on shirts, mugs, body pillows, even. Oh lord. I just printed up another batch of Funtravention hoodies. These things are selling like hotcakes! That was was such a fantastic idea, Lies. I'm also just like, yep, yeah, we didn't do we didn't focus on marketing, we didn't focus on branding, but nonetheless we get it anyway. Yay! Costumed customers Cost just couldn't. Co get costumers. Enough. Costumers. Whoa. Oh, costumers. Like people who wanted costumes. Costumers? Why costume okay. Oh, and I just started working on the pattern for another mascot that we should reveal soon. Okay. Maybe I'll even get you to model it for me one day. Yeah, probably not. Oh. When the four heavenly kings invited her to live and play at their team house, Queen Bee instantly said yes. Is that in Japan? Ah, uh, listen, kid. I'm sad to leave you, but I'm not gone for fucking forever. This is my true home, and you are my family. I'm going to come back and visit. And often, and that's it. And, and that, she, that did. she did. She stops by as much as her schedule allows and even brings some other big names to the arcade. So she lives in Japan now? I guess so, yeah. We always live stream her matches on the big screen, cheering for her all the while. That sounds cute. This win is dedicated to Lies and everyone else at Funtervention. I couldn't have done it without those amazing friends of mine. Aww. We always keep Fist of Discomfort warm and ready for her next visit. How is your streaming going? Because I want to know, because that know. was a big risk. That's that was a special big, thing. innovative thing that we decided to do. I want to know how it's going. And you've talked about the arcade being a success, and there being a successful mascot, and the business going well. I want to know how people like the streaming. That was the big special thing we chose. Yeah. Teo kept the Showtime stage scene alive here at Funtervention, even after he got offered a job as their regional community manager. Ooh! Ooh good job, Teo! He's doing what he loves, teaching and connecting with all sorts of people. Now that's great. And mm. promoting new products and upgrades and all that. Right. Teo's new job has him traveling and organizing dancing tournaments around the world, but he still spends most of his time right here. I'm putting Dee in charge of the local dance crew while I go establish a new scene on the other coast. But I'll be back before you even notice. Oh, I'll notice. And when I come back, you promise to get on the stage with me. You owe me a song or two. Now that my leg's all better, I will dance until I break my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That is why they call it break ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's break dancing for a reason. I will break myself. <laughs> hey! All right. Whoa, the panning just totally got me. I was like, ooh, it's moving. Wah! Good friends pulling together in a time of pixels and porters. Finally, I'm home. I want to know what happened to Magical Moon Cuties, too. I know! Funtervention. Thank you, Funtervention. My spirit is restored and my future is bright. Now we need Iris to talk to us. At last, I can say, I'm truly happy. I'm at peace. I'm having a ball. I'm moving on up. I think we're having a ball. Because Lies was really serious and working hard and, and basically at peace even if in unhappiness before. Mm -hmm. I think Liza's having a ball. ball. A few others can claim to have had such a wild ride as I have. Oh, a few others can. And in the end, I had fun. I'm looking forward to each day to come and what antics I'll be getting up to. Or basically, I wasn't thinking ridiculous joking fun, I was just thinking enjoyment fun. Right. Because this is fun intervention, and I'm just getting started. Huh. Okay, now Iris should talk to us about our experience. Right? Because we are the gamers and she's been talking to us the whole time. Or they... Nope, they're just getting Oh, to... <laughs> it's the end! A Fiction Factory Games, games production. production! Written by Stefan Gagne and Ian... Ian? Ian? Annie? Ian? 
Inchuman. Uh, I don't know. With the voices of Stephanie Shea as Naomi, Oogie Banks as Gavin, uh, Price Johnson as Percy, Amber Lay as Ashley, Nazia Chowdhury as Queen Bee, Christopher Escalante as Teo, Mark Mir as Deco, Danielle McRae as Sue, Lily Pichu as Juniper. Lily Pichu. That's so cute. Trisha uh, Brio as Francine, Stephanie Bruno, Bruno excuse me, as Irish, Akash the Car as Hamza, Graham Stark as Ben, Jacob Burgess as Matt, and, and various, various kids. kids. Yeah, and Winterfell as various other kids. Yeah, That's cute. That's so adorable. That, that's, so they they were all different. I apologize, voice actors. A lot there of was you guys a couple started of you that sounded the same. Really uniformly the same. I really did appreciate though your efforts. It doesn't mean that it was bad. It was just kind of like some people blended together. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I just say I did like the art in this game a lot. Like, I, did I really did. And I pointed out several times where the anatomy was good and thoughtful, even with the level of detail that they had. Right. Like you know there was there was some trouble with hands, but hands are hard. Oh right? yeah, hell, hands like are everyone hard. hates drawing hands. But even like with suits and stuff, you had good accurate anatomy me there and that was pretty cool right i wish people would have changed clothes more that would have been so cool we were I supposed know. to be seeing them all the time and we even commented on people's clothes and the idea that all of us like i like the headcanon idea that basically in this world people don't really have different outfits except for venues right and so you really all own like nine copies of your one set of clothes right and that's what you wear all the time and you're clearly wearing a different clean set of it that's identical than the last one every single day until you go to the beach or to a dance <laughs> party or something specifically like that right and i think that's interesting so overall interesting game um, I think we're gonna do a full-on review of this game. We, yeah. we um afterwards, we'll probably look at a couple other people's reviews, see what they did and didn't cover, and then um come back and uh come like like give us give a picture of this. Uh, yeah. We definitely had some rough patches where it was a little tough here and there, and we definitely had some basically different ideas than the creator sometimes. Yes, and occasionally felt like it was hard getting on board with them, but. It was an interesting story. And like I said, I liked it more for whatever the start was. As the game kind of kept going on for me, still, I just, like, I feel like it just didn't hold up. They're doing all their references. Ah! All the references. Okay, oh, God. if you need the nerd references in here, Gojira, there is, the, this is them referencing them and doing their due diligence. Right. Uh, here's all the games we mentioned, and here's all the series we mentioned. Netflix is in there. Ha, ah, ha, ha, I and love travel, it. Yep. Uh huh. And go, the go, Maze Runner. Go, go. It's good. Even the ones that they just memed a little bit. Though I need Final Fantasy VII in here because they totally memed Sephiroth. Like, they, they mentioned did. it. And I, I want it, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. We're, we had a fun time playing. We did. Also, absolutely. we understand that Arcade Spirits 2 is well under production. Yes, and so, actually it's supposed to be coming out either the end of this year or sometime next year in the spring, but I cannot recall, so don't uh -huh. quote me on it. We will talk about that probably more in detail mm -hmm. when we do our review, we'll mention probably. Like, where if, if, we, if we do know the date by then, we might mention it there, or we might just leave it as it is. Yeah, because you never know. If, you can uh, always look it up because they do actually have an active Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, they are totally there, so please feel free to check them out, you guys. And um, do we have any post dang. text, whatever? Because I want to know. Because I'm just really surprised. Like, Iris has been talking to us, the player, the entire time. Yeah. And then she didn't speak to us at the end. So that one kind of bums me out because I wanted her to sort of wrap up our experience a little bit, if you will. I wanted her to sort of say, like, here's what happened, or I liked playing with you, or oh, hang oh. on. Hello? Oh no. Oh, oh god. my god. This is outrageous. I demand to speak with my lawyer. This is your postscript. Is this? Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? You can't do this to me. I'm. Is this supposed to be like Arkham or something? Is, I was about to say, is this a Batman reference? Oh my god. I'm. <clears throat> I'm well aware of who you are. Good. Then you know I can afford a lawyer who can run circles around you, whoever you are. True. If you were officially under arrest. Your lipstick is amazing. Technically, this facility does not exist. Neither do I. Uh, what? You... You can't do this. If you prefer, I could hand you over to the police. There's a cybercrime task force that's eager to get their hands on you. But if you'd like to avoid a lengthy prison sentence, I have a proposition for you. Oh, he's been doing something important enough that she's like, your skills can put you into an extremely niche work. Right? I'd like to know about a tiny tiny little detail buried in all those leaked files your daughter posted online. Specifically, the 1980X playtests. The... the what? I'm afraid you have me uh, at a disadvantage. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Sinislaw Shen's pride and joy. You hosted secret playtests of that game. 
Oh, uh, those tests. Uh, sorry, but, uh, I don't see what help I'll be. I only played a minor role. Once the test was over, the machines were shipped out to other locations. Did you help develop Polybius? basically Polybius? Oh my gosh, is this the joke? Know. Exactly. Against our authority, Shedis Lotion distributed their prototypes. And you're going to use all of your connections, all of your leverage, every drop of what little influence you have left to help us find our property. I kind of love that. Polybius was our project, Mr. Nami, and we want it back. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And now we know what happened to him and why they were so keen to get a hold of him. Yes. Which, honestly, I feel like that was a nice wrap-up and I enjoyed that. Uh -huh. But again, I still wanted Iris to speak to us because that was a big experience we, the player, went through with her that she talked to us about all the time. Yeah. Game over. For Thank you for playing. this time. Yay! All right, well... Oh, hello? Hello! Oh, okay, 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 Not for real! Oh my god, your flux capacitor is now charged! On your next playthrough, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll back and forth in time and change your most recent decisions. Oh, wow. Also, would you like to save your character and story data from this playthrough so you can use it in any future Arcade Experience expanded content? Oh. Sure, if why not? If we save lives, we can use them in the uh, sequel? Hey. That would be amazing. <gasps> now exporting data. All done! Thank you for playing. I that's okay. That's adorable. kind of cute. I'm glad she said something. I would have liked her to speak more about the journey because she just had so much to tell us at the beginning. Later, oh no! Ah, I'm not but you know what? We are we not going to have this. time for this. Ah! Oh! So here's the tease, y'all. Welcome right. to the tease. Okay, so these are things we possibly will look at while we talk about the game. Mm. Um, we will see what we're going to do about that. But other than that, thank you again so much, everyone, for joining us through this playthrough. Woo! Yes. We had a lot of fun, honestly, despite our hiccups, despite our issues with some mm. of the story, but that's okay. That's how it works out. Not every game is going to be perfect for everyone, and nope. that's all right. Okay, so um, in the end, though, thank you for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. We have some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.